Final episode time. Hey everyone, I'm Ultraviolet4, and this is part 18. Should be the final part of Spring and Conjurer, of course, because we are heading into Zot. You might notice that we're wearing a different uniform today, we're looking very red at the moment. That's uh, because I've been doing a few things offline or off recording. Uh, one is trying on new clothes, and I've decided that we are going to wear the fire dragon scales. So it's not it's not a clear decision. Adding up the defenses together, I've written them down. Uh, wearing the troll leather armor, we had 16 AC, 33 evasion, which is 49 total. Uh, this one we've got 19 and 26, which is 47 total. So this is actually fewer defenses when adding them together. They also, uh, it, this also messes with our spells a little bit because it's a bit heavier. So you might be saying, why, why are you doing this ultra? Like, why, why would you do it? Well, if I'm being honest, it's the main reason is because this red just looks so good. <laughs> the red hat and the bright red armor and then the red on the shield, it's just, I can't not do it. It looks great. Um, if you're confused as to why they're so close in AC between the troll leather and the fire dragon scales, it's because we have to wear different rings. So with the troll leather armor, we could wear this AC plus four ring, uh, but we need to have a point of, um, sorry, we need the strength, so we can't wear this. Um, and I was gonna say, and we need a point of RC, but I'm not wearing that because I've actually decided that we're going to walk around without RC. So <laughs> this all just seems crazy, right? Uh, that's because this ring of leaves gives us MP plus nine, which is effectively having like having nine extra hit points when we have spirit shield. It gives us extra int and slaying plus six. So we're going to do sick nasty damage with our quick blade and our dagger morgue. So I'm okay with this. And then, Switching rings is a really fast action, so we can always put the protection from cold ring on if we need to. Um, I'm not too worried about our spell failures here. Not only are they not too bad, um, so a bit more training should bring them down, but we have plenty of brilliance potions, nine, so we can always quaff them if need be when we need to orbit destruction things. I've also been doing some shopping, so we got a few things. Um, I'm going to drop that other ring. We're not going to need it. The ring of Zotoruff. It has Zot in the name and we're dropping it before we go into Zot. I don't know what that means. If that's a bad omen or a good one or... Anyway, uh, so what did we get? We've got uh, a Wand of Acid, which I actually found because as I was just walking around, I was exploring some parts of the floor that I had not explored fully and it was sort of I think it was just sitting in the corner over here probably on that tile a wand of acid so I found that that was nice <laughs> we bought some other stuff we I bought a brand weapon scroll which we can throw on our quick blade right now we had some more summoning scrolls I think potions of magic and agility things like that uh, so let's do the brand weapon it's quick blade of a lek Quick Blade of Draining is actually, it's it's good and, it, no, actually it's bad. <laughs> I was going to say, draining on a Quick Blade is really good because you drain things like crazy. But um, our Morgue does much the same thing because the Quick Blade was a backup weapon for when the plain, Pain Dagger doesn't work. But anything that's immune to Pain will be immune to Draining. So that's a bit of a bummer. Yeah, that's that's a bummer. I mean, it was it will still do good work, especially with being a plus nine quick blade and us having plus six slay. It will do decent damage, but elect would have been better. I think is that about all? No, we need to do some more training. So let's have a look at our actual non-drain stats. Um, because our fire dragon armor is heavier, we need to do a bit more earth. So we'll bring that to maybe ten. I'm going to focus it even, and a bit more uh, necromancy, 
also to 10. We'll focus that too. Uh, that's just going to be to drop uh, Val Clutch out of being yellow. Uh, the Earth will also help Iron Shot. And then once that's done, I think we'll then focus Conjurations. Um, just to bring Orbit Destruction down. Oh, okay, the other thing is that I spent all the rest of our money on food. So now we don't have to worry about food ever again. Okay, uh, I guess that's it. I'm kind of nervous about this one. Um, <laughs> doing a Spriggan of Quas in Zot. I think we'll be fine. Maybe. <laughs> um, also, note that our piety has gone all the way back up to 5 after we used so much of it in vaults. So that's our uh, amulet of faith at work. I want to immediately confuse the Moth of Wrath so he doesn't uh, berserk these storm dragons. And I'm also then going to magic map. Wait. Oh, we only have one magic mapping scroll. Oh, man, I'm crazy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. All those times before where I was like, we have a million magic mapping scrolls, we'll just read them all. I, I just banked the five Fazot in my head. I was just like, they're already in the bank. But we were, I was actually using my Zot magic mapping scrolls. Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> oh. Alright, well, let's see how we go with... Uh, here's another Moth of Wrath. I think I'll just take these guys out one at a time. Let's see, let's see how we go with Pain Dagger and plus 6 Sling. Miscast Wild Clutch. That's okay. Um, I should not be fighting him on the wall like that without our elect because we can get double zapped. That was kind of dumb. Let's bring our regen up. Again, we'll bring the Storm Dragon up. He's gone Berserk, which I think is okay because we're faster than him, right? Uh, not quite. Is that actually true? Maybe he just random energy us. No, we're blocking attack, so he's at least roughly the same. Um, I'm I'm gonna fight him, and then <laughs> trample it out of it. Uh, if he hits us for a lot of damage, then I'll run. Okay, because in some ways I'm less afraid of his attacks than I am of his lightning bolts. Uh, okay, uh, here's a, an orb of fire that is guarding our entrance to Zot. Alright, uh, okay. <laughs> this isn't what you wanted. This is not what you wanted at all. Another thing is that I amnesia'd our passage of Golubria because it does nothing in Zot, and then once you have the orb, it does nothing. But I was not anticipating the fact that we might be fighting orbs of fire in depths. That is not fair. Is this scary enough that I want to use one of our two haste potions? I don't think so. Again, we've got two pips of RF, and I could actually... I could get a third by taking off our Ring of Leaves. Uh, if we get if we get Bolt of Fired or Fireball, Quas is likely to give us the third pip of RF, so I'm not too afraid of that. Okay, well, let's take him up. We're going to have to fight him. He's guarding the stairs. And we are faster than an orb of fire, but not by that much. You can't open doors. Okay, we can just... All right, uh, well, let's leave the dungeon now. <laughs> All right, well, he's he's trapped in there, but uh, we kind of need to go in there because we've got to go to Zot. Uh, this is interesting. I mean, we, we can pass fall into this room, but that how does that help us? Um, we can pass it all back out. <laughs> we need to be fighting him from range so that we can orbit destruction him or even just iron shot him. All right, let's quaff a brilliance potion. Um, for agility, I'm not too afraid of it. Let's try iron shot. Goes to 1% chance. All right, let's see how this goes. We missed. We got, we feel frail. We're going to have to mutate out of that in a sec. We feel pissed off, so we got Berserk Itis. Alright, we killed it. Alright, so there you go. There's an Iron Shot. Um, of course, when you're hitting an adjacent enemy, Orbo Destruction doesn't do much. It's really weak. It needs to charge up over time. So that's why I was going for Iron Shot. 
Alright, so that works. At least we learnt that we can we can kill over the fire while taking basically no damage. Um ooh. <laughs> he also gave us cold resistance. Uh, it's not worth being frail and having berserk itis as much as I love the free cold resistance we just got there. Um well we got our poison, that's not horrible. I wonder if I should No, we'll just stop. I going to say, if we should just keep mutating to maybe try to get protection from cold, it's not going to happen. It's unlikely. Um, that's just the way of the mutation system at the moment. It's too valuable to try to keep them. We just got blinked away into the middle. Our MR is amazing. It's full, but the blink of these shifters, draconian shifters, ignores your MR, so it doesn't matter. It'll get you no matter what. We can confuse all of the ones who aren't the black draconians. I'd love to get the shifter though. Alright, got him. Alright, well then we'll take this guy up. Our, our poison mutation isn't that amazing because the thing that's mostly going to poison us is going to be those draconians with clouds and we don't care about those I don't know. oops liches can have poison arrow and so on uh, death cobs have really low MR so you can confuse them pretty easily Ghost Moth is stealing all our power, but that's okay. I'd rather just deal with these st with these enemies now. Um, I probably don't want to fight a Death Cop with zero MR or zero magic points, so I'll get back up. I'm laughing because the ghost moth is corroded because the yellow draconian just decided to kill him. <laughs> We've learnt that recently. The the yellow draconians just don't care. They just shoot other people. It's really crazy. All right, there's an electric golem, and we have no Aralek. We gotta go back upstairs. We just we have it right now because Quaz gave it to us, but that's. That's really scary. Uh, how do we kill him? Okay, Iron Shot is at 9% and yellow, so it's dropped that quickly. Part of that is our drain being worked off, but also... Oh yeah, because we killed an Orb of Fire, that gave us a bunch of Earth Magic training. That makes sense. But we should be able to Iron Shot him. Maybe. Uh, when he's far away, we can... Orbit destruction him. Actually, can he get zombie hands? Uh, no. <laughs> That's a negative. This is annoying because the electric golem will shoot through the black draconian. Wait, did it die? Where did the electric golem go? He was destroyed. Oh nice, so Black Draconian hit him in the confusion and killed him. Okay, so he had a bit of teamwork there. That's good. I should be eating. Uh, I don't want him to go Berserk. I'm going to take him back upstairs. Berserk Gold Dragons are no joke. Earth Magic to 9. So Vile Clutch has dropped down to 6%. Okay, yep. So I think this will work. And I mean... Ooh, we're berserk. Uh, if you think about the Fire Dragon scales, we've got a... It's a plus one Fire Dragon scales. We've been extremely unlucky in terms of fi finding Enchant Armor Scrolls. If this was a plus eight Fire Dragon scales, we'd have 26 AC right now. And our defenses would pretty clearly be superior. But that's kind of a lesson, right? You can't, you shouldn't plan on these things to happen in crawl because some games, 
you won't get very basic things. I meant to do clutch. Alright, we got a Quicksilver Dragon coming. And a whole bunch of these Annihilators, all of whom can have Crystal Spear. So we've got to be a bit careful with them. Uh, yeah, this is okay. <laughs> That was very poorly aimed. All right, let's go back up. Uh, I would love to kill them all before we start getting constricted here. The problem is these guys can all crystal spear us, as I said. Uh, I just don't. I just don't think we're gonna get the monstrosity in time. What if I upheaval everyone? Not quite. Uh, one of acid. One more. Okay, good. <laughs> get everyone but the yellow guys and then we'll go back up the purple one oh that's wrong aiming the purple one can't really be hexed 1% chance so you've got to be more respectful of him Um, glowing cloaks. There is no cloak that I would that I'm going to find here that I would want more than a spirit shield scuff. And man, yeah, we've only got one magic mapping, so I guess we might as well use that on Zot Five. <laughs> uh, drop the amulet. I'll ID it just in case we want to acquire more jewelry. It's magic regen. Electric Golem again. Okay, well he's he's more at range. I want to get off the wall so we don't get double zapped. And then we're going to throw Orbs of Destruction. It's 13% chance to fail. Alright, got him. Morph of Wrath is fine. Uh, Tentacle Monstrosity. We're going to go for the Orb of Destruction again. And some Zombie Hands maybe. Yeah. I don't mind throwing out the Orbs of Destruction now. We've got so much food that um, I'm not worried about just spamming it. It's an interesting stair. It's like a cantilever stair. Like a cannon or something. Looks kind of like a gun. Anyway, <laughs> my that getting sort of crazy, I guess. To be fair, this game has been very long and difficult. You, you have to forgive me losing my mind a bit. Yes, possible. Wait, we failed it. Feeling pretty okay actually, after that Orb of Fire experience where we were totally fine. Um, I'm probably most afraid of Electric Golems now, to be honest with you. And to an extent Ancient Liches. But they can be zombie hands. And Orb of Destruction and Iron Shot. Yeah, I'm not afraid, it's really just the Golems. If we're really lucky, we might find a whole stack of enchant armor scrolls in here. It happens sometimes. That's it. Eight, let's regen. On to sort two. Yeah, where we can no longer magic map because I wasted them all. <laughs> how, how 
how do I do that? I'm, I don't know. I'm stupid sometimes. We're mapping a small area around us passively. So I guess that's nice. This is so many draconians and four of them are purple who we can't hex. That's not what you want to see. And he is a shifter. Okay, if we could just zombie hands him. Straight on a prism, and he did that. Alright, we got him. Um, how about you? Alright, we'll go back up. I'm going to pick a different stair. I don't want to be stair dancing where there's a tentacle monstrosity around. It's not a good time. Here's Orb of Fire number two with a Moth of Wrath and a Tentacle Monstrosity. I'm immediately going back up. Uh, I don't want to pull the Orb of Fire up the same time as a Moth of Wrath uh, because that means the Moth of Wrath might berserk us while we're fighting the Orb of Fire. I also don't want to give the Tentacle Monstrosity the chance to hold us there with all of that stuff. Okay, we're going to the Cantilever. Can't believe it stairs. Shadow Dragon, let's blow him up. Then we don't have to deal with his draining nonsense. Look how tanky these guys are. He just ate three orbs of destruction and then got berserked. Um, let's not have a berserked gold dragon. We'll try to blow him up. There's another one. It's going to be dragon themed by the look of it. Don't. Okay, good. It makes sense to put the positive energy on. All oh, right, okay, yeah, all the destruction became very dangerous because we're drained. Someone him <laughs> and then maybe quick blade him yeah I think that having the plus nine quick blade it is going to do more damage against the shadow dragon than Morg will storm dragons well I went for the 13% chance to confuse that was never gonna work yeah, I gotta take this pretty slowly. If I see a shifter turn up, we need a panic run back upstairs. We found the orb of fire. Please don't trample us off. Okay, good. Let's go back up. Surely that's the same orb of fire that we saw before, and there aren't two orbs of fire running around on Zot 2. <laughs> well, so we're gonna have one orb of fire per four. Hope not. Uh, I'm gonna go to this one just in case. I mean, surely there aren't multiple orbs of fire here. What magical effects did he unravel? Was it? Our necromancy went to 10. Alright, good. So yeah, our vile clutch is fine now. Um, iron shot. Earth magic is at 10. Um, maybe we should do a little bit more earth magic or we'll just do conjurations. I think we'll just do conjurations. I'll just focus that. I'll put a target on armor for say 14 and then yeah no, maybe we shouldn't go that high. Let's do armor at 12 and then maybe we could turn fighting and dodging and invocations back on. This is a double tentacle monstrosity floor. I don't wanna I don't wanna mess with that. Let's 
So the orb of fire, if he runs in due to the noise, should be running from the right. I'm just waiting here for a bit, giving him the chance to turn up. Fulminate Prism is still useful here in Zot. Not a bad spell. Wood, wood lock bombs again. <laughs> Here's the Storm Dragon. Yeah, he double zapped us. Um, Cause immediately gave us RLX, so that's nice. Alright, here's our Orb of Fire. Um, rather than try to get it into the hallway here, I'm going to head back to get him into the open first and I'm going to quaff one of our brilliances. You feel frail. It's the opening move. Hit hit them with the frail and then they're much less scary. Alright, well we got him with three orbs of destruction. So again, that's good. Uh, I want to get rid of frail. Um, okay, well we got shield plus four. That's the main thing. And an auxiliary attack, which is actually not bad if we're using a quick blade. Because uh, it's going to swing really fast. Which reminds me, we should use Morg um, by default because it's got the int plus 5 on it. Let me see a Zot Trap. We got poisoned a little bit there, not from the clouds, but because the impact of the gold dragon shooting it can poison you. Mm, I don't want to get double zapped. Yeah, again, it's cause is being pretty, pretty good to us here. As soon as we are getting zapped by these storm dragons, it keeps giving us Aralek. Who says Quaz is a bad god? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> does work pretty well. Four minute prism and vial clutch together. I have missed uh, decidedly fewer vial uh, sorry, uh, four minute prisms when they can't miss because the monster is being held in place. <laughs> okay, looks like we got to do we got a vault to do. This is going to have all three of our Dan stairs in it. It's going to be a million draconians. Alright, well. Can you dig this? It's rock wall. Um, I could dig that and sort of release them. Is that a good idea? I don't know, I did it anyway. <laughs> Too late. Welp. Yeah, Killer Clowns don't bother me too much unless they roll a really heavy cold attack, which is actually a bit threatening. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll just keep pass wall magic points and then I can pass wall through here if need be. Um, how about we throw out Horn of Acid? That was probably unnecessary. I think I should keep those now. They might come in useful. Uh, we might need it against something like an Ancient Lich, or an Orb of Fire, or God knows, whatever else. Uh, 
keep clutching broke out okay I just tabbed him there's another one in there I don't I probably shouldn't sit in the, the fire clouds for no reason this is a, a very good vile clutch here I'm kind of tempted to read an emulation we've got four of them yeah let's just read emulation it's time it's time to get crazy <laughs> oh did I really oh I used I tried to do a fireball. Now we don't have mana. Okay, well that's great. Um, what if we disintegrate this guy? I just need to blow up one to start the fire. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ah, immolation. You, sh you deserve more love than you often get. We're going to disintegrate this guy as well. Um, didn't quite get there. I'm actually, I'm just going to run. I'm not so afraid that we need to pass well through the wall. I'm going to set up here so then we can fight them one at a time. He's got he, a war out, but one of them had immolation. I should be confusing the black ones so we don't take lightning shots. Cluster region. Okay. That wasn't so bad. The immolation actually, unironically, did great work there. Yeah, all three of our downstairs are here. Um, I'd like to link them together. And um, we've got more floor to explore. We're we're on the lookout for enchant armor scrolls. Um, what do I do with you? Same way we deal with every monster. Try to take over the world. Wait, that's not right. I mean, so, I think we start off with 20 rations, so it's like we've used three rations so if we hadn't had a food shot we would have come in with eight we would have been down to five so I mean it'd be kind of scary but it's it's not dire you wouldn't actually starve to death or you shouldn't I don't know I think it seems like there is less food for Spriggans overall uh, since the food reform where everything got made rations whereas uh, before they could eat the bread and it um, was more satiating for them so I don't know I think there is less food but I, I don't think it's too much of a problem 27 digging in that case I'm just gonna dig through okay that's our Zot 2 done not bad okay who's ready for our Zot 3 over fire it's not this step oh God, it actually happened. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> what? Okay, so we're, we're doing an orb of fire per floor. That's amazing. I've never seen this in the history of crawl. Let's go to a new stair then. I can't believe there's an orb of fire. <laughs> it actually wasn't that step. <laughs> oh, okay. um, let's call for brilliance. We've still got seven, and let's try to blow it up. We're going to use Orbit Destructions and Iron Shots. Okay, he did not... Um, that thing mutate, mutate us which is nice um, let's put our positive energy ring on 
just to kill this Shadow Dragon. And I'm going to switch to the Quick Blade. Good. Alright, so that's our, that's our Zot 3 Orb of Fire done. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't too bad. Um, I should be confusing that white draconian immediately because we don't have any RC. Uh, I don't want a scattershot wand. We have plenty of slots, I should have it. Fine. This looks like a vault. Another Draconian Vault, maybe? I'm basing that just off... There's water surrounding a glass wall, crystal wall. That seems like someone has built it. Let's go back to our Pain Dagger. Mm, no. Or maybe. What's this? I mean, these... It looks like some sort of a vault. Oh wow, okay. So he just died in the lava. I confused him and then he fell in and sizzled. I still haven't fig I keep seeing your magical effects unraveling. I still haven't quite figured out what they are. Whether he's stripping away the the bonus uh, things that Quaza is giving us. Door open behind us. Did I? I must have imagined that. Okay, <laughs> there's, there's no door. I lost my mind. Look at that amazing bomb placement. Oh, he killed one. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Uh, I don't like this. I'm going to... Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I was going to try to confuse the death cob. Um. This is probably okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that this is probably loops around on to where we came from. So I'm just gonna do a loop. Hey, this is Zot Trap. Here comes a death cob running us down. It's alright, we can confuse him. Or we can try. Okay, good. And then let's skedaddle. Reach level 26. He's a shifter, right? Okay, yeah, I gotta be afraid of him. He needs to be confused before he starts blinking us around. Actually, this is terrible uh, because fighting all the purple ones and a storm dragon in a point where we could be double zapped with electricity. Bad idea. Have I have I mentioned how Vile Clutch is a really good spell? I hadn't. Oh yeah, yeah. It's really good. Just for the record. Great spell. Check on our training conjurations is up near 17. All the destruction is down to 7%. Yeah, this is fine. So I think, do I have a target on? It's for 17. We might be able to stop there and then we can start doing our, our fighting and everything else again. No spells to your library. Okay, so I was very wrong when I was worrying an episode or two ago 
about us not having enough experience to get all our spells and everything castable. There's plenty of experience in the game. If there's anywhere where you want to do optimal trap uh, behavior, it's in Zot, and especially in Zot 5, but yeah, being being teleport trapped or Zot trapped or um, shafted, god forbid, in Zot is really nasty. There's our armor to 12. Um, I should check that. Let's, let's work at our base AC. So our hat is zero, our shield is zero, it's just our fire dragon scales, which is base eight. We could actually figure this out. AC eight. 2.75 armor skill per one AC. So we should be stopping at um, eight point two five. Wait, no, we're way past that. Sorry, what am I talking about? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's going to be five. Thirteen point seven five is where we should be stopping, actually. So, do I want to train that to get one extra AC? Answer is no, not really. Uh, I'm just going to turn our fighting back on. We're going to focus that. We're going to turn, no, we'll just turn it on. We'll turn on our dodging as well uh, and our invocations. All those things are great. More HP, more evasion, and stronger cause abilities. I mean, if everything goes well, we, we might not need causes abilities, but you never know. Where are all the enchant armor scrolls? Come on, game. Okay. <laughs> that looks like the floor now, more or less. Okay, we ready for our Zop 4 orb of fire? <laughs> Alright, there's no way it's gonna happen again. Surely not. I just. I, I didn't believe it. It was already crazy enough. Just having them. Our defenses are enough that I'm not even worried about a single Berserk Draconian. We've got 27 AC, or 20 AC, 27 Evasion, and 23 Shield. That's not bad. And then if you add our magic to our health, it's like we've got 200 hit points. So this character is actually pretty tanky. It's not bad. Uh oh. Um. I don't like this though. We've got guys coming from every side and then the Moth of Wrath. We have four fear. I'm just going to preemptively read a fear now and then start running back to our stairs. Yeah, and we can deal with these Draconians here at the stairs. It's much safer. Confuse the cold one. Okay, or not. <laughs> Went for a swim. I don't know what fried draconian tastes like. Don't know if it's any good. No bad auto targeter. Get the one we can actually confuse. How about we get the Moth of Wrath first? Okay, I, I gave up. We can't confuse any. We'll just zombie hands them. Okay. 
We don't really have any use for gold anymore, but I don't know. It's so hard not to pick it up. Conjurations to 17. Orbit destruction's at 6% and it's yellow. I think I'd like it just to be a little bit lower. I'm going to bring it to 18 and then we'll stop. Shadow Dragon, can we just blow you up before you drain us like crazy? Maybe. Yes. Uh, stuff. We stopped testing staves a long time ago, staves, because we can't use one with our buckler. Let's back up. We'll make them come out of this choke point here. Confuse the Moth of Wrath. Oh, why did Zombie Hands pick the Moth of Wrath? <laughs> uh, get some Moth. Yeah, I'm gonna back up. I don't want anything scary like a whole new Draconian pack to turn up when we're slow. Um, let's see, we have 5 potions of cancellation, I'm just going to cancel it off. And in fact, I'm going to start digging back towards the stairs here. Oh yeah, we got damned at the end there. Actually this is perfect, you can stand in front of the shadow dragon for us. While I zombie hands it. Nice, it worked. Ah! <laughs> Get out. Checking. We never picked up any more magic mapping scrolls either. Because um, then we could have mapped this for two. There's a curse too. Alright, we gotta run from him. Uh, can torment? Not good. Okay, the shifter just threw the curse two on top of us. Uh, okay, well that, that's not good. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> okay, what's the plan now? Um, I think... Oh, ooh, ooh. We could blink and hope that we go up rather than down and then just run. Otherwise, I could dig into the wall here and then try to make a kill hole. Damn, that shifter is, that is a play. That is a very good play, throwing the cursed toe on our heads. Damn. Okay, we didn't get torment. Alright, so I went one tile left, because now I've blocked up all our vision down. So now we can blink, and we're probably going to get a useful one. Like that, that's a bit better. I'm just gonna run. Please don't torment us. There's a torment. There's another. To oh, that wasn't a torment. Uh, Cause this guy has core down damnation. So uh, 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 that's regen. Get him off our screen. If we're getting tormented and damned at the same time, we're gonna die. 
Uh, now it's just you, I can confuse you. I'm just gonna confuse the shifter too, because you are scaring the shift out of me right now. Especially with that cursed toe running around. Yeah, go away. Go away. We're getting uh, drain life. Let's chill at this stair. Scorcher has to die. Shifter has to die. And then we can fight the cursed toe. Shifter, go away. They're all just here. They're all together. They're all hanging out. What have we got? Disintegration. Did I get the shifter? I blasted him, but he's not dead. We gotta go back upstairs. Yeah, we can't mess around there anymore. And we gotta go to a different stair too. This is way too scary. Cursed toes are bad enough on their own, let alone with damnation and being shifted. <gasps> oh, it actually happened. <laughs> there is an orb of fire on every single one of our Zot floors. Should I be checking the commits? Is this is this a change to crawl now? That is insane. I don't believe it. Uh, let's call for brilliance. I think I missed. We're gonna iron shot him. Your regeneration stops near monsters. Uh, we are out of magic for iron shots. Um, how about we acid wand him? We missed. Our zombie hands doesn't work on him. Could we, could we lob a bomb at the orb of fire? And then... Um, yeah, just see if the the lobbed bomb kills him. It did. <laughs> nice. There you go. Long lob bomb. We do not regen when monsters are visible. How bad is that? It's kind of bad, but not that bad. Um, we have nine mutation potions, so we're not we're not really struggling for them. But it's still, I don't know. You can get really unlucky. I think it's it's not worth wasting one on. You can get teleportitis or something, and then you struggle to get rid of it. It's an annihilator. Did we get him? No. I'm making sure I confuse all the ones who can hit us with a lek. So an orb of fire on every single floor. Crazy. We're actually dying to this. I'm gonna cure out of that and then confuse him. I was really not respecting those draconians. I mean, we weren't actually gonna die, but should not just casually be letting our HP go to half. It's kind of dangerous for no great reason. I'd love to find the cursed toe. The shift is down. That's a good start. Why is there an acid dragon? It's not a regular Zot enemy. This floor is huge. Enormous floor. <laughs> I couldn't be bothered walking around. I couldn't be bothered walking through here either. I'm just going to dig in. So many Draconians. Yeah, who was worried about running out of experience in the game? Was it me? It's all these green shifters. I'm going to go with Fireball. Ah, oh, 
wrong spell. <laughs> when you zombie hands a monster that's already been constricted, it does nothing. So every now and then I try to fireball and I accidentally do file clutch and then it does nothing. This is a um, team at vault. I want to put positive energy on. Um, and again, I think the quick blade is better against the shadow dragons with all our sling. Actually, yeah, I should respect these guys, especially the Annihilator who's got Crystal Spear. This floor is just never ending. Mm. Haven't seen Tiamat yet. She sometimes hangs out in these Dragon Vaults. Oh, I missed. How do you miss Valklutch? Oh yeah, that's why we don't have any RC. Yeah, yeah, so we get actually owned by f um, freezing from frost, whatever those things are called. Ice dragons, that's the one. In fact, uh, gold dragons can do the same to us because they can hit us with um, cold breath. Wow, look at all this sweet stuff that we can't use. Artifact boots. Not very good. Um, pretty good if you're just some melee dork, but... Actually, I don't want polymorph ones anymore. Get those out of my auto pickup. Skill check. Okay, Conjurations is at 17.5. It's down to 4% chance to fail. Well, this gold we're getting, fantastic. We'll be able to spend that. Let's check the hatch. There's nothing scary on that floor up here. Hey, look, more gold. Yes, look at all this gold. It's fantastic. <laughs> What's that downstairs? Oh, that's an upstairs. <laughs> what am I doing? I played too much Sprig and Conjurer. And again, so we're back up to 18 food. So it's like we've expended two rations here. Um, and that's even though we've been casting out more hungering spells. So you'd never have starved um, here in this later part, even without a food shop. I wouldn't say the same about the early game though. We were very low on food then. We actually had to stop casting spells with hunger. <laughs> But by this point, you shouldn't. And if you're if you're really starving to death in the late game, worth anything really. But even as a spriggan, just go to abyss. You can scum abyss. You'll find food in there. I'm seeing, we haven't killed that cursed toe, have we? No. So he's running around somewhere. Huh. I really rather not meet. The cursed toe on the Omron. He 
can see this map in there. <laughs> you can't hide the gold from me. <laughs> He's just missing. Kirsto missing. We can continue on, I guess. We're making so much noise. If he was going to appear, should have. Or run sort of up. There he is. Okay. Alright. Uh, well, we can over destruction him. It will kill him pretty quickly. And an iron shot. Come on, and an iron shot. Good. Alright, done. Alternatively, you can just walk away from them. Even as a normal character, because they're slow. Let's do our last magic mapping scroll. We're going to X off the entrance. Um, and I'm confident that we'll see a Zot 5 Orb of Fire. Wouldn't that be weird if we had an Orb of Fire on every single floor except for Zot 5? That's not a thing. No stepped on that Zot trap. All our stairs are here. Uh, probably what I'm going to do is dig through here so we can um, have a faster escape. And what's going to be really nice about Quaz here in Zot 5 is all the noise he's making is going to wake up stuff in here. And it's going to wander around, it's going to hit teleport traps. And it's going to make it such that we don't have to fight that stuff in the lungs. It will wander out here where it's much safer because we can kill hole, we can go back upstairs, a bunch of things. Just confuse him. I'm just fighting him with Morg and he's got a large shield, he's just blocking everything. Let's get off the wall so we're not getting double zapped. And because there's a ghost moth coming, I'm going to throw Orbs of Destruction at the Storm Dragon. Just try to kill it before we lose all our mana. Little known fun fact, when ghost moths steal your magic points, they heal. Yeah, that's mind blowing, right? Uh, which is why, why they can appear super tanky when you're, you're a mage and it's very nearly dead, but you've run out of mana, so you're like, I'll quaff. A quaffer potion of magic just to get a bit more mana just to do that last spell to finish it off and then it starts sucking your mana and it starts healing so you thought it was just one spell to kill it but because it's healing off your potion of magic uh, it's not even close to dying I'm sure why I've done that here's our Zot 5 Orb of Fire we didn't get any new mutations there we just killed him pretty easily with Orb of Destruction I'm also just throwing over destruction at these ancient liches. Um, now that he's closer, we'll go with the iron shot. Good. Because uh, they, they are very dangerous. 144 damage crystal spears. We don't have that much HP that I want to lose 144 of it at a time. Is that going to hit? Yeah. Oh yeah, I shouldn't be running that way. Electric Golem. This is the enemy that I am most afraid of, believe it or not. I'm going to go with Iron Shot. How many... We've got three resistance potions. Well, I'd like to save it if we could. Okay, good. Uh, more Strength or more Int? Um, our Encumbrance rating on our armor is 11. We've got 12 Strength. I think we go... Or maybe even Dex, actually. Yeah, at this point, let's go Dex. We might get more evasion out of it. I forgot to check. Uh, Orb of Fire again. Um, I don't think we have enough magic to fight him. So I'm just going to run for the stairs. We've got two RF pips. And then Quaz can give us another one if we're dying. So I'm not afraid that we're going to die as we run. And now we're on the stairs. I don't mind actually attempting it. 
Yeah, I do mind now. I'm kind of dying. <laughs> Changed my mind. We missed. Uh, that's not good. Oh, no, it's fine. Conjurations goes to 18. All right, Invocations is going up. Uh, let's stop it at 18. Seems like enough. And then we'll just finish the game with fighting dodging. So normally what I do in here is I use Shift X Control X. Oh, Shift X Control F to forget the four a bunch of times and then re-explore. Um, but using our optimal trap play, we can't really do that. I have to walk around manually. Oh yeah, I don't know why I even bothered Xing out the entrance into here because it doesn't do anything. <laughs> We're not auto exploring anyway. It's just habit, and I missed the orb guardian. That's pathetic. Uh, we can tab those guys, believe it or not. Uh, they're gonna get destroyed by a dagger of pain. And our defenses are enough that even though we are a we are a a pure conjurer, is that what we are? Even though we're a conjurer, uh, because we've trained up our defenses a lot, we can just melee, or s at least stand in melee with orb guardians. Even lob bombs at them. It didn't work. So I'm not going to head in yet. I want to just sort of go close. Yeah, see there's a Zot Trap, so we're not going in that side. I want to go close to see if we can wake stuff up, but I don't want to actually enter the lungs just yet. So that has Zort. This has a permanent teleport trap. Was it? I'm confused. I saw the message said, oh no, the permanent teleport trap was here. We've got to be afraid of killer clowns uh, because we have no protection from cold. Um, let's just fireball him. They're not resistant to anything and one logged bomb will do it We're getting pretty owned by our cause clouds as well, just by being near us. I think there wasn't a trap on this side. No, okay, so we can go in that side, that side's safe. But I want to check around the outside again. Like here's a ghost, here's a moth of wrath. In case all the noise we've made has woken up things, and yep, it's our worst nightmare. It's the electric golem. We might need to quaff resistance here. We do. Quaz isn't giving it, giving it to us. Yeah, we need our elect. And I'm going to. We have 12 potions of heal wounds. Where did that come from? We're gonna need to quaff those right now so we don't die to this guy. Um, how am I gonna kill him? Our iron shot missed. Um, three potions of magic. Let's go. Um. I'm afraid enough that I'm going to quaff Brilliance too. Uh, Brilliance gives us extra spell power on Iron Shot, and your Iron Shot spell power facts, factors into how accurate you are with the spell. You blinked back into it, you idiot. Yeah, so that's our. I'd say that's the most afraid we've been in Zot so far. 
and well okay that's not quite true that the moment where we got shifted with a cursed toe next to us that could have been much worse but in terms of actually uh, being close to death that was probably the moment right there and so you were correct to be afraid of electric golems very very nasty if you don't have RLEC and doubly nasty if you don't have RLEC and you let them double zap you literally doubly nasty it looks like there's nothing much else out here All right. well the good thing about being a spriggan and being really fast is that when we walk into this lung even if it's full of really nasty things we can just bail no, it's an orbifier. You feel less energetic. That's not what I wanted. We lobbed a bomb at it. <laughs> at which he then just exploded. Uh, I wanted to shoot orbit destruction. A failed one. Okay, he's very nearly dead. One iron shot should do it. We miscast it and then that one... Missed. Okay. Well... Okay, if we get nailed for another really high damage um, bolt of fire, I'm in a haste, but I think we're okay. We got enough mana to throw out one more over destruction, and that did it. Hey, we got a new friend. Well, we're on the stair, so we'll try, but I don't think we're going to have the mana to do it. Uh, no. Better safe than sorry. Wouldn't want to lose the streak on a uh, Spriggan of Spriggan Conjurer of Cause in Zot 5. That would be heartbreaking <laughs> to get this far. Let's back up. We're, we're making lots of noise, so even just hanging around there, um, other things are going to come to investigate. traps sticking to our red carpet <laughs> this guy just made a, an express lane for us which means I shouldn't zombie hands him just yet our noise here is also pulling these orb guardians out one at a time which is nice Tabbed in, tabbed into the explosion. Still haven't quite figured out that spell just yet, <laughs> apparently. Confuse you? No, I won't. Yes, I will. Uh, so what we could do is just to port the rune to us, use our spriggan speed to run. But I still feel like I don't know. I I really like the safety of teleporting out. Since I've done that, I've never had a sketchy, uh, sketchy Zot Five escape. I think. Not that I can remember. I mean, we've already we've already showed that we can very handily fight orbs of fire and the like. So 
whatever is in here is probably not going to be worse than potentially meeting uh, pan lords and fiends and stuff while we're trapped in here. Our invocations is 18. I'm going to stop there. I thought I made a target at 18 to stop. Anyway, 18 feels good. It's a round number. Feels like enough. And yeah, we're just going to ride it out with fighting and dodging. Synergy. It's an obsidian statue. Well, that's fine. We can just blow him up. Can we? Can you zombie hands a statue? You can. That seems kind of crazy. We can also lob bombs at him. Hey, Nat. Uh, we'll report it. That's not the right spell, that's blink. <laughs> that one. Alright, looks like we are done here more or less. Um, I'm going to do one last scope around. I'm going to try to blink past the Zot Trap. It's not working. <laughs> Damn you. Come on, game. <laughs> it's more likely that we end up in here because there are more tiles that we can see in this room than the other room, but still. Come on now. Don't don't make me manually walk all the way around. Okay, good. Let's do this. And I wanted to dig through here. Uh, with our targeter, I can get it exactly right so that I'm leaving one wall, one wall spot left. Okay, so then we can pass war out like that. Oh, not in the Zot Trap. I'm just going to have one last run around. Just check there are no Cursed Toes, no Orbs of Fire out here, no Ancient Liches. Doesn't look like it. I think we are ready. Alright. Spriggans are pretty good at the orb run. I'm just going to eat all our food. And you might be like, hey Ultra, you've run out. You had 8 rations and you've eaten 8. Um, if I only had 8, I wouldn't have been spamming orb of destruction quite so much against random things like... Um, what are those things? Dragons and the constrictor dudes. Tentacle monstrosities. So on. Alright, so we're pretty good at the orb run because we're really fast. Um, we're not good at the orb run because our noise attracts everyone to us. That's alright. Uh, so we're going to read the teleportation scroll. I'm going to wait 8 turns. Then I'm going to pick up the orb. As I pick it up, it kicks in. We immediately get out again. Easy. See? Zop, Zop 5 is much safer, I feel, when you full clear and teleport out like that. Alright, now let's get out of here. Let's, let's end this game. I've had enough of this suffering. Okay. Um, I mean, at this point, it might be like, do you need to follow the red carpet? The answer is, yes, we still should, because we could get... Um, we could be shafted here. Uh, if we hit a, an abyss, sorry, a zot trap, we could be sent to the abyss. Here, look, food. Um, and zot traps could have all sorts of crazy things. Um, I have a picture somewhere where there was during the last tournament where I stepped on a zot trap during the orb run. And it did the thing where it recalls enemies uh, to you on the floor. And that floor had a um, like a ruined 
door vault area with a whole bunch of dangerous enemies. So this Zot Trap on the orb run. I should find it. I'll show it to you another time. But I was in a hallway and it summoned to me a cursed toe, an orb of fire, and like all this other stuff. It's crazy. Uh, here's a Hellion and that was a Fiend. Okay, so we can just run away from the Fiend. That's fine. We're faster than the Fiend. Uh, the Hellion can't see Invis, so we're going to quaff Invis. And then he shouldn't get us. Um, okay, well, you just guessed. <laughs> I guess because I was hitting him. Okay, let's get back on track. Uh, let's keep our regen up. Where is that exit? It's over there. Yeah, so I was in a hallway like this, and then imagine there's an, there's like an orb of fire there, then a cursed toe, then like all this crazy stuff. I think there were fiends as well. I don't know, but it's crazy. The point is, you don't want to be hit by traps on your orb run. It could be deadly. Keeping regen up. I'm just picking the nearest stair and then running to it. So. Um, if you were super optimal, you'd actually sit down and work out the absolute best path to get all the way back to D1. But I'm not doing that. You can even run around and pre dig all your pathways too if you're super keen. I really, really like this outfit. <laughs> it looks so good. Is it? Oh, okay. We meet. We met Semu. Um, he's fast, so we can run away from him. The issue is more: is he gonna just like nail us with chain lightning or something? Or actually, what is probably worse is glaciate because we don't have any RC at all. Uh, speaking of which, I think we should have RC on instead of the Ring of the Leaves. Uh, we don't care about the Slay plus 6 at all. Uh, it means we're going to have full RF in case we get Fire Stormed. And now we're going to have some Glaciate protection in case it, we meet a Glaciate Panlord. And here's a Brimstone Fiend who has Torment. So I'm running up, I'm going to shut the door, and we're just going to dig across. And we can even pass wall through. See you later. He was summoning a Tormentor. That looked fun. I'm glad we didn't have to fight that pack. Possible good spell. I mean, okay, we could have dug, but still, possible good spell. Hey, look, there's a little bit of the floor we never explored here. Do you want to see it? Look, there's nothing. Oh, it's asking me, do I really want to pass wall into a travel exclu excluded area? That's not one that I have a... <laughs> um, I have a line in my RC for, so there's a new one. Because I've got one for warp, swim, and fly. And now I need one for pass wall in. <laughs> uh, I think I should check the stairs up here to see which one is best to go to. Probably not that one. Probably not that one. This one? Probably that one. Definitely that one. Oh, I stepped off the carpet for no reason. That was bad of me. Um, I guess we should fight this guy. I'm going to wait here on the stair until we either get our HP and mana back or some enemy turns up. Can we pass wall through this much wall? No. Getting close. Where's the stair? <laughs> All the way over there.
Those tiles that we dug out can't have traps on them. <laughs> traps will never spawn under wall tiles. Are we doing it? I think we're doing it. Let's make some noise. <laughs> Yay! This is one of the the longest and most difficult crawl games I've ever played. <laughs> oh, we got there. 17 hour game. 17 hours, 20 minutes. Pretty casual. Some absolute insanity, including the, the first five or six episodes of this game um, running away from wolf packs trying to do a volcano while wearing a gold dragon scales it's just it was hard it was really hard but we got here and we have escaped as the champion of Quaslau <laughs> with a successful long lob bomb cosplay so that's pretty cool I'm very happy I'm very very happy in fact um, I enjoyed it. I like playing Quaz. I think Quaz is actually um, better than most people give it credit for. Um, not a top god, but certainly a middle god, a medium god. Not like all of the people who hate noise as a rule and will tell you Quaz is one of the worst gods, worse than having no god. Don't believe that's true. I think he's pretty good. Uh, as for Fulminate Prism, Pretty good. Still useful even in Zot. We even killed an Orb of Fire with one, if I recall correctly. Um, I think it's it's not easy to use. So especially if you're trying to play fast, um, you hit yourself a, a lot with it. Not like I was, right? You can't call me fast playing at 17 hours, 20 minutes. <laughs> but still, uh, it's hard. You have to think about it a lot. Um, but yeah, that's it. So if you're still here after however many episodes this was, um, I hope you enjoyed it too. Um, I hope you had some fun. And for the next game, I don't want to spoil anything, but I want to test out the new ghost system. That's all I'll say. Hopefully see you back for that one. Bye.